All right, greetings and uh, salutations, everybody. We're uh, plowing today. I've been plowing for a while. I only have about three acres-ish, but I've been hit with rain here and there, so we're, we're doing what we can. Yeah, she's been pulling like a dream, going down maybe six inches. There's the old turn there. We're gonna try and get that tire right on in there. She has done, this tractor has done such a good job. Here, we're gonna back up here. There it goes, and here we are. Kind of did that a little wrong, but whatever. There we go, tearing that up. Uh, like I said, 22, 2400, uh, low, obviously, and four wheel drive. If this is the first time you've done that, you start out both bottoms, right when the first bottom is right at the uh, the last part of the plow point, especially with the four bottom, drop her down to, uh, I drop it down to, uh, that's a little too far, two and three, that's probably good to go, and uh, pull it forward a little bit. You can see both of those plow bottoms digging into the dirt. At that point, I go ahead and lift her up to about the halfway points, around five. And then I go ahead and use my uh, rear hydraulic control and I push and I drop, I'm sorry, I don't push. I drop the rear ram all the way down and then we just pull her forward like that, keeping our tire in the last rut. And we go ahead and pull our four bottom plow along our stretch here. No, she's doing all right. We're going down eight inches-ish, last I measured it, which is, it, it's a little tough on the old girl, so I'll have to, to jab it up just a hair. And that allows me to get through. That 2200 RPM is what's needed to yank this bad boy through. But uh, yeah, we're able to, we're able to run four bottoms on a 60 horse four wheel drive tractor it's not that much work in that i'm just pushing my foot down uh if i really wanted to if this was a long stretch i could engage the auto drive but you know it's such a small drive for this little bit uh, i'm not gonna bother so pulls it like that pulls it like nothing i've been able to do this for a couple of hours and the oil temp is basically been right in the middle there so we're barely above 120 Fahrenheit but when we get towards the end here whoop, so I'm on a little hill so I got to dip it down a little bit right there I lift the back I lift the front end up and then we let the two in the back go a little further and then we go ahead and we push the ram up and call that good and then we back up a little bit because I'm right next to my uh, pole building here so I gotta back her up on that same channel so I can actually turn. It's a pain here. I had a single bottom, it's out in that corner over there, but that took forever. Picked this thing up at auction, the Case 308 for, I don't know, like 600 bucks, and the old girl can handle her. So uh, very impressed, very, like it a lot. Like I said, plowed all that. This is fall. Uh, don't recommend doing this type of plowing in spring, especially with this tractor. Uh, and if you're in a wetland like I am, if you look out there, definitely in a wetland. Do not want to do four bottoms <laughs> in the spring. Fall, no problem at all. And this is not utility only. This is absolutely egg tractor territory, my friends. I don't care what you say. I'm calling this an agricultural marvel. This is a beast. This is a machine for me here. Uh, so easy to operate. So nice to run. Never let me down yet. Till next time. Oh, I can hear it getting bogged down. Let's just pull her up there. No problems at all. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. That was mostly operator error, sorry about that. Uh, still yank, still ripping in six, eight inches down. So, uh, till next time, I'm the ill-informed human, and, uh, goodbye.